Hello, and thank you for watching this episode of Magic Minutes. Today we're going to talk about how to connect Excel to your iSeries database. Um, and the purpose of this is to show you how to take advantage of some of the most powerful features of our new DPS Data Mart. And once we're done, you will have a connection that you can use on any Excel spreadsheet that you want to create. So if you want to create an Excel report that pulls in customer information or sales information, it will do that and it will automatically refresh every time that you open the report. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do once you open Excel is to go to the data tab. Now, depending on the version of Excel that you're using, the data tab might be in a slightly different place, but um, a, every modern version of Excel does have this feature. Within the data tab, you'll need to choose the From Other Sources option. From Other Sources, go all the way down to From Microsoft Query, and we're going to use an ODBC connection to connect to the iSeries server. In the window that pops up, we're going to create a new data source. Now, you only have to do this step one time. Um, in the future, whenever you go to connect uh, an Excel spreadsheet to the database, you'll just come and choose the option out of the list. You'll see that I have several here that have different configurations. And this example, we're going to connect to the data mart. So we're going to choose new data source. We have to give it a name. So I'll call that DPS. You can name that whatever you want. I need to select a driver, the client access ODBC driver or the iSeries access ODB dri ODBC driver will work. Um, they both do the same thing for our purposes. Now, if you don't have the client access ODBC driver or the iSeries access ODBC, di o ODBC driver, then please contact your IT staff or give us a call here at DPS. Um, you're missing a component from client access or the iSeries navigator that we'll need to need to get to you. The next step, we're going to click connect. That'll pop up a window that lets us configure this this connection. We don't have to do much here. It should have your your iSeries system name right here. And we're going to click the server tab. And we're going to come down here and we're going to replace QGPL with DPS DTA MART. And that's all that we have to do right here. Um, you could add multiple libraries using this library list field, but we'll keep it simple. We'll just put DPS DTA MART up there. Click apply. Click OK. It might ask you to log in. Um, if you've already logged in once, it won't, won't prompt you again and we're going to leave this bottom field blank and click OK and now you'll see that we have a data source now that we can use and we'll just leave that selected press OK the window that pops up is the, uh, the Microsoft Query Wizard and this is going to allow us to choose the different options that are in the data mart whether we want to see customer information or AP vouchers and determine what we want to put into our Excel spreadsheet. So I could say, we'll, we'll use a customer example. Let's say that we're going to build a list of all the customers um, that we have in Indiana, but we don't want every field that's in there. Now we could, you'll notice that whenever I click plus here, I wind up with a lot of information. These, these uh, data mart files are meant to have just about everything that you can need. There are multiple files joined together to give you all the information you could want. And it's got English easily readable English labels for the for your columns here. But let's go ahead. We could move all this together. We could just say, hey, we want customers. Click this little arrow. It would move every field in the file over. We don't want all that. So instead, I'm going to click customer. Let's take the customer number, move it over, the customer name, and the address the city, state, and the zip. That'll do, uh, and let's put a phone number on there. Telephone number. Okay, I'll click the next button, 
if I want to filter it, I said I only want uh, customers in Indiana. Now, though, this would be easy enough to filter in Excel, but since we're in here, let's come down to state. And we can say that the state, we only want stuff where the state equals Indiana. And if we wanted to go ahead and do some sorting here, we could. Once again, it's really easy to sort once it's in Excel, so no need to do that. And finally, it says return data to Microsoft Excel or view data or edit query in Microsoft Query. Um, you could get a lot more detailed by pulling this into Microsoft Query, but let's just return the data to Excel. Keep it simple. It'll ask me what I want to do. Do I want to pull it into a table, which would just be an Excel spreadsheet or a pivot table or a pivot chart? We'll do another video on um, some fancy stuff that we can do with this Datamart data, but let's just get it in Excel for now. Let's leave it at table, press OK. It'll take it a second to build and you'll see that I have all of my information in this Excel spreadsheet. I can then manipulate it however I want. I can save this Excel spreadsheet and every time I open it up, it will refresh. And if I want to, I could click on refresh here and it will rebuild the data for me. And so if any changes were made to the database, especially if you're doing something like uh, sales data, um, something that might update throughout the day, you can refresh this, or if you're, you're looking at a GL posting, something like that. Um, it's easy enough to either click this, I believe you can also right click inside any field in this Excel spreadsheet and click on refresh, and it'll also update the data for you. And that is how you connect Excel to your database. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Magic Minutes. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.